Welcome to the support videos for Wallet Automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to recover the EM user password in Control M Enterprise Manager if you are not able to log into the Control M Configuration Manager or the Wallet Automation GUI. Let's imagine that you were assigned a new role in your company and now you will be the new Control M Administrator. So you also were given a documentation in which you have uh, all the information related to the Control M uh, installation and user and password. So the first thing that you try to do is to access to the Control M Configuration Manager. So you type the, the password that is stated in the documentation that you just uh, was provided. You try to log in and you receive an error like this. So authentication failed. You try again the password for the EM user. So, and you notice again that the login is failing again. So for this kind of situation, there is a way to, to reset the default uh, password for the EM user. So let's see how, how we can do this. Okay, the first thing that we need to do is to log into the EM uh, server. Okay, in this case, this is a, a Linux environment. We need to also to log in with the EM user uh, Unix ID. As soon as we are logged into the e corresponding EM server, the first thing that we are going to do is to access to the to the database. So let's run this. In this case, we are we are um, specifying that uh, we will be the, the the user for the database and the name of the database. Okay. As soon as we are prompted for the password, in this case, we need to provide the DBO password, the database owner password for the EM database. Okay. And here is important to mention that. When we change or when we reset the password for the default EM user, uh, this not affect the, the password related to the database or th this won't have any, any impact with the, with the password set for the database owner. Okay, so this is important to know. This, this reset uh, option is just to, just to reset the password that we, that we use to access to the clients. Okay. Okay, so now that, that we are uh, in the database, uh, we are going to run a, a select command. In this case, we are going to run this one that is related to the to the table where the the password are the passwords are stored for the EM users, the the users that are, uh, that, that are accessing access into the clients. Okay, here we can see that we have the default EM user. This is a default administrator user, so we have the the encrypted password. Okay, so now we are going to reset this this password to the default value. Okay, in this case we need to use this this query, this update query. Here we are uh, saying that we need to update uh, the user password to this value for the username that matches with this value with the EM user. Okay, so as soon as we perform this, we will be uh, resetting the the password for the EM user to the default value. In this case, the default value for the EM user, uh, EM user is EM pass with double S at the end, okay? So here we, we have the, after running the update, we have like a one row has been updated. So we, we perform then a commit to, to make sure that the change or the update has been performed to the database, okay? Okay, let's do the commit. So now we can, we can run again the the same command, the select just to make sure how, how how the chain was made. Okay, so here we can see that the EM user now has the default um, the default encrypted password. Okay, and once we have uh, reset the password, we can try to we can try to access to the the configuration manager, and in this case, we need to use the the default uh, password for the EM user. Okay, so let's type it. And as I mentioned before, once you reset the password to the default one, we can change it to a to a desired password, so we can uh, use it uh, forward. Okay, so in this case, if we want to change that um, that that password to a new one, we, we we just need to go to the security, to the authorizations. Then here we have the EM user, which is the default uh, EM user that that has been created during the installation. And here we go, if we do double click, we can see here that we have the, the option to change the password to the new one. In this case, we can, we can put the, the new one that we want to use for, 
for this uh, for this password okay as soon as we uh, do okay that cha that password will be will be changed okay and we need to in this case we need to uh, close the client and uh, open it again so so we can uh, use the new one that concludes this control m solutions video the workload automation support team looks forward to helping you if any assistance is needed